it the King James? No, it's not it. Oh, okay. the Gideons. Yeah. They yeah. used to have that in every hotel. Yeah. No, this is not the real one. It's not a King James Bible? No. Authorized what? 1611. Okay, let, let me show you where it says King James, yeah? King James Bible? No, the New. The New is just a translation, right? New is no good. So, so you don't believe in this? No. What about this one? NASB. No, oh, it's even worse. That's worse, huh? So this is so so so, so which one is the real Bible? Sixteen eleven. Okay. James. So let me ask you about some verses, and then you you, you can bring up the sixteen uh, eleven. Okay. Uh, let me look it up for you. King yeah, James. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the Bible Gateway, KGV, King James, right? Right, right. Okay. So, if you look at here in Matthew, and Jacob begotten Joseph, the husband of Mary, right. to whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ, right? Right. Is that the same in the King James? I don't know. I've, well, I've, let's let's look it up. Yeah. And not everything is gonna it's gonna be different. Some okay. a lot some of the stuff is gonna be the same. Some of the stuff isn't. So no problem. Happen to find. Okay, there you go, King James. Do you want to read it? Right. So okay. Like I said, it's so it's the same, right? It's, that one's the same. Yeah. That one's the same. Yeah. Okay. So who's the father of Joseph? Whoever it was in his lineage. Who, who is it? Right there. It's highlighted with a red. Right. What is it? And Jacob. Joseph. Right. Okay. okay. So Jacob. Right. Is the father of Joseph, right? Right. Okay. But so you if we know go, it's not the Jacob of that Jacob. I got you. Right. We're in Luke now. Right. Okay. Let I me mean, look it up here as well. Yeah. No problem. Okay. And now Jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years of age right. as being the supposed son of Joseph, the son of Heli, right? Mm -hmm. Is it the same in the King James original? Right. So okay. who's the father of Joseph here? There's this. Joseph, the son of Heli. So Heli is. But earlier it was Jacob. Okay. So which one is it? I don't know. I have to study it. Would you say it's a contradiction? It seems like a contradiction, but okay. I have to study Good. it more. But you do see that there is a clear contradiction here, right? Well, the two, the two different gospels saying two different fathers for the same Joseph. Right. I have to I have to read it. Okay. So if you read it and find that it is a contradiction, would you agree that's a problem? It would be a problem, but I haven't. Researched I appreciate it and read that. It. Yeah. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, let me ask you. Second Chronicles mm -hmm. 22 2. Mm -hmm. Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umri. Is that correct? Okay. Right. Okay. Are you a pastor, a preacher? It looks like you're well read in the Bible. No, no, I just study it. Okay. Second Kings. Uh huh. In 826, Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king, mm -hmm. and he reigned one year in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Athaliah, the granddaughter of Omri. Right. How old was he here? 22. And the other verse? 42. Is that a contradiction? There is, but I don't know if it's the same king. I don't so, know. So it's a good, good point, right? Right. Isaiah, who, who ruled one year in Jerusalem, what's his mother's name? Uh, right. Athaliah. And the granddaughter of? Omri. And in the other verse? I got you. Relax. Let's see. Same mother, Athaliah, uh -huh. same grandfather, Umri, same one year in Jerusalem. Right. Two different ages. Yeah. And it was only a one year rule. Yeah, yeah. So that's a contradiction. Yeah. I don't you would know. agree. I have to, I so, have to, so, so, I, I mean, have to read it. I have to research it. Go home, research it, look it up. Do you want to take pictures or write down the verses? Oh, yeah. No, I can, yeah. 
Okay. I can, I can research them. So would you say, apparently, these are clear contradictions? On the surface, it seems like a okay. contradiction. But again, I haven't researched it. I got you. Second Samuel 24.9. Yeah. Then Jacob gave the sum of the number of people to the king, to King David, right? Right. And there were in Israel 800,000 valiant men who drew the sword. How many? 800,000. Okay. And the men of Judah were 500,000. How much? 500. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. First Chronicles 21.5 And Job gave the sum of the number of the people to David, saying King David, all Israel had was 1,100,000. You see that different from the 800,000? Right. And Judah had 470,000 right. instead of 500,000. Yeah. I don't know, maybe that was later on in their battles. Same Job, same king, same incident, same county. Yeah. Right? I so. Again, I have to they do seem like clear numeric on, contradictions. On the surface, yes. Okay. But I have, again, I have to right. research it because... I got you. No other problem. Other people have researched these contradictions and they give answers to it, which I don't right? know. But if you go look them up and there are yeah. clear contradictions, will then, you then... Then, then that will be fine. Okay. Do you believe that Jesus was God? Yes. And do you believe that he knew everything as God knows everything? Yes. Okay. In Mark 13... 32. Oh what? yeah, but that day no mm -hmm. one knows. Okay. That's true. When but of that on day, earth, okay. He, when he before he went to the cross, he didn't know. But okay. after, after So on was, earth he was no longer God? No. The Father had not revealed that to him. So that means he didn't know. Because no, because because he okay. hadn't died on the cross yet. Okay, so that means at that time he was not God because God he knows everything. God. But how God. could he be God and not know? Because the Father had not revealed it. For so the same reason that listen, in the Old Testament. Listen to yourself, right? What's your name? Mike. Mike, nice to meet you. My name is Afman. Hi. We agreed that God knows everything. Right. There is nothing unknown to God. Right. And if Jesus doesn't know the hour, the Father does know, right. and Jesus doesn't know, right. then that means at that moment, according to your definition, He could not be God because God knows everything. He knows everything, but He, but he, he doesn't know the hour. Doesn't, doesn't, that wasn't revealed. So then He can't be God because He didn't know something. 